All right, we are back with our uh, next video. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about cutting off the uh, metal pieces now that our template is made with our tin snips. Snip, snip. So it's kind of like scissors. And these are straight down the middle kind of um, tin snips. We don't have left-handed or right-handed. We can tell that by the yellow handles. It's kind of the universal um, signal or symbol of it. So what you're seeing right here is the template on top of another template. So here you can see one that I've already cut for you. So I could show you on, the, on this video what it's supposed to look like. This took me about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to cut. It took my time and it turned out pretty nice. What helped is I had everything taped. And as I went along, I actually taped down some of these other pieces after I cut them, which I'm gonna show you a little bit here as we cut through uh, this piece here. So I'm obviously not gonna sit here and cut the entire thing for you and make you watch me cut the video, but I do wanna show you kind of how I start, some, some steps to it, um, so you can, you can see how this is gonna work. First thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have your safety um, equipment on. You can't see me on this video, because I don't have it, uh, hello, I have it angled in a different way, but I got my safety glasses on just in case, and know that you are gonna have some very sharp pieces here, okay? Um, you're gonna have to be very careful while you're cutting with the uh, metal so you don't cut yourself. So what you're gonna have to do though with your tin snips is squeeze the handle together and pull this little um, guard back before you can have them and now they're able to open, okay? Uh, they're spring-loaded so they kick back right away when you're not using them. Um, and then what you need to do basically is find one of the spots where you want to start. Now some of you might have a little excess edge on here like that. If you do, uh, don't worry about doing anything with that edge. Uh, come to Mr. Harris and myself at the end and we'll take the, uh, the stop break and we will slice it right off at that point. So let's talk about where we want to start. Now I'm going to start over here probably because I'm a lefty so I always feel more comfortable starting in this spot. So what you're going to want to do with your piece is take your tin snips and line up along the edge of the paper. Okay. And um, I try to put them in just as they are. I kind of squeeze a little bit so there's a little tension on them. And then you just have to squeeze a little hard to cut with the tin snips. Now when I pull back, you'll see that it's cut through that nice straight spot there. And that's good to go. Now what I like to do is I usually like to do some relief cuts with this and cut off some of these small chunks. And then all these small little pieces that we have here, we're gonna throw them into the trash. I have a trash right next to me, so um, I'll put them right in there. Then you start working along the edge of the paper that you put down the template. Okay, make sure you're staying straight and you're cutting up to where the edge is of your template. So you kind of have to work your, your tin snips in a little ways. Now you can see I've gone right up to that tip. So what I'm gonna do is pull my tin snips out and now I'm just gonna cut off a big chunk of it. And sometimes I bend the metal back a little bit so I can get to where I'm going. And try to cut right to where that little uh, connection is. Now sometimes you'll get it where it'll be hung up a little bit like this. Uh, you can take your fingers and just kind of twist it and it'll come off. And then this again goes into the trash Look at your cut, and we can see right here that we probably need to clean it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my tin snips, and first I'm gonna cut off another chunk here. Okay, so I can get a little closer. And now that I have a smaller cut here, I can see right along the paper line, I'm gonna line everything up. I'm gonna put some tension on the tin snips, and I'm going to cut down to that spot. Okay, so once I got that cut off, then I'll just take that little chunk and throw it out. Now you might end up with some pieces here where it's bent over, it's really sharp. If you can't get those pieces cut with the tin snips, then what we will do is we will file those off later, okay? But as you can see right now, we have a nice straight cut on our piece. So that's something we can finish at a, at a later step. Before I move on though, I'm gonna add a piece of tape onto here that you can see I originally had just to hold everything in place. Now for this other corner piece here, I'm gonna cut straight across. Okay, and I did have this taped, so this is another one of those. Oh, metal went flying, go grab that off the table. This is another one of those edges where I now just cut the tape off 
So I'm just going to take another piece here and put that right on there so it all holds in place. And then I have one more corner to do here in this spot. So I'll take my tin snips, I'll line it up, and I will cut off that end. Okay, looks like I got a little chunk here, but that's good enough. Okay, so now I have one of my corners finished, and I'm looking at the clock, it's about five minutes into this video. Um, so maybe 15, 20 minutes to do this. I'm just gonna have to do all the other corners exactly like that. And uh, like I said, if you're gonna have a, a strip like this, where you can see the metals a little wider than our, our template's gonna be, we'll cut that off with the bigger machine. Um, again, just kind of see Mr. Harris or myself, and we'll help you with that. But hopefully your final project will be just like this one, and you won't even notice the difference. Um, and like I said, we just keep adding the tape around the edge so we can always keep a nice, good template on there. And that's it. So if you got any questions, see Mr. Harris or myself. Uh, last thing I want to tell you is when you're done, you're going to close your tin snips. You're going to put the uh, guard back on there around that little screw. And you'll put them away where you got them um, so that we keep our shop clean. All right.